What we wanted to study in our trial was whether these drugs could be used as a treatment for patients with established heart failure. Not only that, but we wanted to also ask the question whether these drugs might be beneficial in heart failure patients who do not have diabetes because there is experimental evidence to suggest that SGLT2 inhibitors may have benefits that are not glucose dependent. So to do this, we studied patients with heart failure and reduced ejection fraction receiving conventional therapy who were randomized to either 10 milligrams of dapagliflozin daily or placebo. For that primary composite endpoint, we found that dapagliflozin reduced the risk by 26% and that was highly statistically significant. And both of the components of that composite endpoint were also reduced. So there was a 30% reduction in the risk of worsening heart failure events and indeed in uh, heart failure hospitalization. That was statistically significant. And there was an 18% reduction in the risk of cardiovascular mortality. And that was also statistically significant. We had a number of secondary outcomes, but I will maybe just mention one of those that's important. We also looked at patients' self-reported symptoms using the Kansas City cardiomyopathy questionnaire. What we found with that questionnaire is that significantly more patients in the dapagliflozin group reported an improvement in symptoms and significantly fewer people in the dapagliflozin group reported a deterioration or worsening in symptoms. So in summary, what we found was that dapagliflozin does really what you would want any drug to do in heart failure. It improves symptoms, it improves survival, and it reduced hospital admission. It did that in all the important subgroups that we looked at, including patients who didn't have diabetes. The risk reductions, both in relative terms and absolute terms, were quite substantial, and dapagliflozin was very well tolerated, and we infrequently had to discontinue study drug during the trial. So in conclusion, we really thought that we've shown that dapagliflozin is a potentially valuable new addition to the drugs that we have available to 